no one has ever competed with me on speaking. So especially not some foreign man who speaks broken English. Um, as for all the stuff people, the camp said and all that, you know, this is show business, this is entertainment, this is everything. So if they don't talk about what's going on, then people lose interest and yada, yada, yada. So they've got to talk shit. It's a must. If you don't talk smack in this game, you ain't going to make it. There's a heavyweight in here, yeah, who's on his rise. And my advice to him is talk tons of smack the whole way. That's how people notice you. And then when they notice you, then you can show them your skills and do what you've got to do. And that's how it's done. And as for like all of Usex team, they're all lovely, decent people, I think. I saw his manager at, uh, over in Saudi recently. I was just having a bit of fun with him, and, but I shook his hand, and uh, he's a nice fellow, you know. He's doing the best he can for his man, um, which, you know, Frank, Spencer, all my team are doing the best they can for their man. So, and if you don't do the best for your man, then you're a pretty shit manager or promoter. That's what I'd say. Um, but as for, like, I've seen some stuff in the media, like, this is really personal between me and Alexander Usek. This is not, it's not personal. It's strictly business for both fighters, you know. Um, there's a lot, lot of stuff on the line and all that, but I don't hate him. He don't hate me. He's, he's, a, he's a good good husband, good God-fearing man, so I respect him as a man, as a fighter. He's undisputed um, cruiserweight champion. He's unified heavyweight champion, so anyone would have to respect the man's achievements, um, Good fighter, you know, I've got a, a tough challenge in front of me, but I, I'm very confident in my ability and I'm very confident that I'll beat the guy. But that's not to say he's shit just because he loses to me. Like, you know, everybody I ever beat before, even long-reigning lineal champions like Vladimir Klitschko, after I beat him, everyone said, oh, he's a piece of shit, him. Kl uh, Wilder, all of these guys who I ever beat, they were all shit after I beat them. So please don't say that Alexander Rusek shit after I beat him. Because he's not. He's a, he's a unified heavyweight champion, undisputed cruiserweight champion. But my personal opinion is of it is we have right weight divisions for a reason. And me being an encyclopedia on boxing and I've studied every heavyweight cruiserweight that's ever lived. Um, when the cruiserweights step up to the big boys, usually they get found wanting. And even the greatest cruiserweights that's ever lived, Evander Holyfield, when he stepped up to the big boys in Big Daddy Bowen and it's Lewis, he was found wanting. You can, you can beat the average big ones, but you can't beat the elite big ones because size really matters. And we have weight divisions for a reason. And he's going to be found wanting when he fights me on May the 18th. Um, even if you look at David Hay, he was an explosive, uh, good cruiserweight and good heavyweight. And when he fought average heavyweights, he could beat them. But when he stepped up to the big boy in Klitschko, it wasn't really a contest. We look at Thomas Adamek. He was a good light heavyweight, good cruiserweight. He beat some good average heavyweights, good world contender heavyweights. Stepped up to the big boys, beat. So I expect the same from um, Alexander, to be fair. Who was the other one? Um, Sultan Ibragimov. He was Olympic silver medalist. He was 20 and 0. He, he was world... Uh, I think he beat Shannon Briggs for the world championship. And he, he was found wanting against Vladimir Klitschko at Madison Square Garden. So I could just keep going on and on and on and on. Let's use Johnny Nelson, for instance. Johnny was very... He was an undefeated cruiserweight when he was cruiserweight. But every time he stepped up heavyweight, he got bashed. So there is... It's well, facts. It's facts. I'm not, I'm not slagging anybody off. But what I'm saying is, these are facts. And if anybody wants to go check my boxing history, go do it. I've studied this game all my life, and you cannot prove it wrong. This is my time, my destiny, my era, and my generation. Facts. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit of tactics. Let's bring in Sugar Hill here. Sugar, from, from your perspective... The other heavyweights who have tried to beat Alexander Usyk, Daniel Dubois, Anthony Joshua, Derek Chisora, Chaz Witherspoon, all of these guys... Limited ability. But what did they do limited. wrong? Limited. What did they limited do wrong? ability. They tried the best with their own ability, but it's very limited and Sugar will take over. <laughs> <laughs> There's not really much for me to say with Tyson, uh, you know, knowing it all. So, uh, no, but just listen. Alexander Usyk, like Tyson said is a great champion. Cruiserweight, he's won all these fights in his life. Um, and a lot of it is due to, you know, his athleticism and things of that nature, but he can think. So he's, he's able to outthink these guys. Whereas they may come in and think one or two things, he's thinking three and four. So, uh, and, you know, 
Tyson is the same way. Tyson's thinking five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So uh, it's, it's, it's one of those chess matches. But I definitely agree with Tyson. He's the bigger man, um, the bigger skilled man. And you have a smaller man with those same skills. Or, um, yeah, we'll just say with the same skills. <laughs> and uh, that, that big man that big man's going to win all day, you know. Yeah. And, and, and also, <laughs> look, everybody underestimates Tyson's punching power. Everybody, I don't understand why. I mean, well, I don't know about everybody. Wilder don't, does well, he? Doesn't. <laughs> no, but I'm talking about you talk about a lot of people, and they just don't seem to understand it. I mean, and you're right. Everybody who does get stepped in the ring, they find out about it. There's no doubt about that. And I think that's going to be a, another telling point in this fight, a big telling point for him. I've got a fun fact. Everybody who was supposed to be a non-puncher in my career has given me trouble. And everybody who was supposed to be a dynamite puncher have been all right against. So I better fucking watch me boots. I'm here. Because he's noted as a total non-puncher, but I've been put over by a few non-punchers, Dad, haven't I? Noted non-punchers have put me over before, but the big ones, the big punchers in history, I've, I've been found wanting to keep me nailed down. So that's a little bit of a fun fact for everybody. That's a fact. That's a fact. And he's, he's, he's definitely a tough man, isn't he? Well, Big John's suggesting that Usyk has potentially a weak jaw. Uh, Frank? No. No? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Been loads, there? There's been loads of them, haven't there? And I, yeah. I, I put that too. They're putting that much effort into knocking someone out. Rah! Leave the self open to a counter. Crack. Where the man who don't punch as much is, is using his boxing and moving and he's not leaving himself wide open to get in. Not exactly. Frank, you've talked about an Achilles heel for Alexander Rusik as well. Do you want to tell us more about that? Oh, I've, I mean, I've, looked at, uh, I've sort of looked at a lot of these fights going back to the amateur days. And he is a bit of a crybaby when it comes to getting caught to the body. He cries to the referee a lot. And for me, that, was a, that always was, uh, if you want to use the phrase, an Achilles heel or an Achilles body. That's what it, what it is, and he doesn't like it. Doesn't Factual, it? that is, as yeah, well, because he, the only time he's been put over is with body shots. Yeah. Better be have dropped him with a body yeah, shot. Yeah. And um, I think it was the Polish guy. What was the Polish cruiserweight called? Um, was he called Goblaki or something Lomaki. like that? Something like that. I think he dropped him with yeah. a body shot as well. Yeah. So and Frank's he, definitely correct there. And I've, I've sort of looked at that, and I looked at that before we, before we made the fight with Dubois, and Dubois, Dubois definitely hurt him to the body, irrespective of what went on. He doesn't like it to the body, that's for sure. And for me, the biggest exponent of exploiting a boxer's weakness is the professor here, and that's what he does. He, he finds that he's, if anybody's going to exploit it, it would be Tyson. He's got, he's got the mental capacity to do that and keep doing what he has to do. And, and, and I, I know, uh, you know people have asked about predictions. That I genuinely, genuinely believe that Tyson... Will win this fight in an explosive start. And is that is that because we talked about size earlier as well? Is that because he's going to be so much bigger? Can you give us a bit more colour oh, on I, the prediction? I, I think he is. I mean, you only got to look at look at both of them. He is bigger, but the other guy, he's been a heavyweight what now for three years. Uh -huh. So he's grown into that. He, he, he's grown into it. He's carrying the weight, and obviously, you know, if you're struggling at cruiser weight, he's going to be more comfortable. But he's dealing with somebody as, as Tyson said himself. He's natural. He's a naturally big guy. He's a he's a he's he's like in some ways like um, like Usyk that they got good very good good boxing brains. But I just think Tyson is he is the best heavyweight in the world. There's no doubt about that. And everyone's going to talk about the last fight. Good fighters on an off night win fights. They don't see he's not sitting here today saying it was an off night and that's why I got beat. He had an off night and he won. And that's what good fighters do. They come through it. And he comes for it, and he is, he, is, he is, in my opinion, in my lifetime in boxing, and I, since I've been doing this, he's been the best at it. He's been, he's been involved in the best heavyweight fight I've ever seen live, which was that third fight. Without, uh, yeah. And now you know, against um, Wilder. By the way, Wilder was undefeated heavyweight champion for six years and the biggest puncher. And you, gain, you look at his boxing brain, Tyson's boxing brain, that second fight worked it out, what he needed to do, and absolutely done the job. 
And that's what he does. He's such a, that's why he's such an intelligent, good, super good fighter. And I genuinely do believe... I believe this other fella, by the way, he's, he's not, you know, he's no, he's, he's not going to, he's not just showing up. He's, he probably feels in his heart, he may have seen a couple of flaws in Tyson's last performance and he'd be working on that, no doubt about it, like any fighter would do. But at the end of the day, he's in with somebody who is extra special and I think we're going to see, a, I think we're going to see an explosive extra special fight. Well, Tyson, we know when it comes to critics, you don't listen. It's water off a duck's back. But I want to bring in Spencer here because you're, you're having to see people criticise Tyson Fury, say some outrageous stuff out there as well. Yeah, I mean, how do you take to that? It's, uh, when you're personally involved with somebody, it's a bit upsetting. And it can get really on your nerves. And, uh, but like Tyson says to me, just ignore it. It's water off a duck's back. But, I mean, I watched yesterday, I watched... I don't know, 20 or 30 different people with different opinions. This fight is causing, is causing massive, ma massive different opinions for everybody. It's, um, it's going to be so, so much of a spectacular... What they've got planned for this fight is the fight, but we've got a great undercard. It's, it's going to be spectacular. And, I mean, they've even brought the, uh, their own song out today, yeah. the Ring of Fire song. So if, 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 you're, if you're on the internet, have a look at it. It's unbelievable. They're pushing all the boats out for this, for this fight. It will be tremendous, fantastic, stupendous. It will be unbelievable. And Turkey Al Sheikh and his team have done such a good job. And uh, they, they do really think a lot of Tyson. They love him. So, um, no doubt about that. Honestly, yeah. you know, the relationship he's got with Turkey Al Sheikh is second to none. You know, he was the first one through the door and he'll probably be the last one out the door. So, you know... The, the, there's a there's a line that they want to follow, and there's there's you know they want to get more fights to come. And uh, Tyson's mentioned them, but we go one fight at a time. Uh, I think Alexander Usyk might have um, underestimated Tyson a little bit on on that last performance. But if if you see him in the gym, his punch power, everything's gone up. He looks he looks out of this world. He really does. Fantastic shape. Um, his head's. He's very focused on this fight, which I've noticed a lot. Really focused. So we'll see on the night. And uh, we'll see who wins. And uh, we'll see what everybody's got to say then. All the, uh, all the great uh, boxers and pundits and all these people who are... What I've seen, you know, a lot of them don't give Tyson a chance. I don't know where they're coming from. On that past performance, on that last performance. But let's see. Let's see what they've got to say after this. Hopefully I get chinned in around then, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, Make that's what they're right. saying. You know, that's what they're all... You know, some of them I'm, I'm quite amazed. But uh, let's see afterwards. And uh, like Tyson said, it's a boxing match. The best man will win and we'll shake hands afterwards. I think if I didn't train at all for this camp and just come in at like 25 stone and sank maybe 15 pints of Peroni <laughs> beforehand, and then the next day, going there... What's he going to do? Jib and jab me around? Do you know what I mean? He, listen, take nothing away with him, but he couldn't do anything with Derek Chisora. We all saw that fight. Let's Correct. not be eluded with him. Yeah. He, it was 50-50 fight. Could have won either way. So, late, so not unless he's come on yeah. at 38, 39 year old in the last over two years, like leaps and bounds. And oh, I, I thought the Joshua fight was very close as well. I, I, so. I thought the Joshua fights were very close. He came out with a lot of marks and, and uh, you know... Um, Except the uh, second fight was. Second. Second fight, especially. Yeah. yeah. So. But uh, and the other thing is, you saying fifteen Peronis, you're on the Furiosity now. <laughs> yeah, so but there's no alcohol in that, uh, uh, Frank. Got no chance. So if I'm going in for a real ding dong, I need at least fifteen pints of Peroni. <laughs> <laughs> at least. Tyson, I was watching a, an interview with Alexander Usyk the other day, and he said that Vladimir Klitschko has reached out and given him some advice. But the oh, that'd advice... be anti advice. How to lose <laughs> the Gypsy King? <laughs> <laughs> How can Vlad, my old pal Vlad, give anybody any advice? Because he would have used it himself only if he had any advice or any idea how to beat me. It was a, um, an absolute one-sided boxing lesson I give to old Vlad. Yeah. And I believe Vlad cool. was a, um, a very good, good champion, just like this guy is. The best of his generation. And I said, dinner, I said, if I can't beat old Vlad, I must be useless. And I'll say it again. If I can't beat Usyk, I'm no good, clearly. That's, that's, that's your headline. If Tyson Fury can't beat Usyk, Tyson's no good. End of. I'm not going to pull any punches. It is what it is. If I can't beat Usyk, I'm no good. Say I'm no good. 
And then I'll get a rematch of him and say I'm no good again. If I lose again, <laughs> what more is there to do? But if I beat him, I beat another man. Great. Fantastic. On to the next one. But if you do beat him, you get all those belts you talked about, the eight belts, the undisputed. What will that mean? Yeah, to I'll add them to the 25 I've already got, shall I? I've actually promised His Excellency, Turkey Al Sheikh, that when I win all these belts, I give every one to him as a present. Let's get a final predictions from... Uh, I mean, look, everyone's going to pick Tyson Fury to win, but give us a bit of colour on it. Sugar Hill, how, how's this fight going to play out? Knockout. Simple. Yeah, Early? Late? Don't know. Okay. Just when it happens. Knockout. May 18th, we'll find out. Uh, Spencer? Knockout. Okay. Eight. Within eight. Okay, we've got a round out of Spencer. Let's yeah. see if we'll get a round out of Frank Warren. You should ask your... I think you should ask... His dad as well. We'll bring in Big John Fury. Frank, yeah. let me just get, get it from yourself first. Knockout. Knockout. You going to give me a round light? When he catches him. <laughs> He'll go. Big John, what do you think? Chess match. It's going to be a boxing match between two great technicians. Could end up a bit of a boring fight to watch, because that's what they do. And I think Tyson... <laughs> 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 Buy, yeah. buy your tickets here. Yeah, get your tickets here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We've reduced the tickets now, so. <laughs> buy one, get one free. Thank you, John. Thank you very much, John. And I'm going to go, go for Usek to knock me out in the first round. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. Why not? There you go. We've got everyone's predictions, including Tyson's very curious prediction there. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. We're going to do some photos down the front, and uh, we'll see you May 18th for the big one. Lovely. Wow. Great to hear from the big man. Delighted to be back joined <laughs> by a bunch of... Uh, boys, what did you make of that? Um, well, it was a press conference. Yeah. And we were brought all the way to Morecambe, which is a great place. Yeah. Um, and I thought we might... I mean, it was perfectly good knockabout fun stuff. And yeah, I love yeah. the stuff about the eye. Yeah. But I was waiting for the... And I'm going to fight AJ in November. Yeah. We didn't. Yeah. In the end, it was, it was all good knockabout stuff. And... I liked the way he looked. I yeah. like the way he looked. I, yeah. I like what Sugar Hill said. Yeah, yeah. And there was, a, I don't know about you, I know he was trying to make it funny, Tyson, but there was quite a seriousness yeah, he was in him. Serious, especially at the start, yeah. yeah. I think, he, I think yeah. he's on it. And you can see in his appearance that he's yeah. definitely in shape. We've still a long way to go to this fight as yeah, well. Like, so yeah. he's yeah. probably going to be in better shape, I imagine, by the time the fight comes around. But um, there wasn't. We didn't get too much out of it. Yeah, I think, really. when, I think when they when he called for a, for a press conference rather than your, your kind of bog standard media yeah. as you were, I think the, the boxing world kind of held, some held their breath. They were thinking, right, yeah. is this an announcement? This is my and, last and, fight. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And you start, and you start swirling, but obviously being here and hearing him speak and, and yeah. how positive he is about this fight, and I just feel like maybe he wanted to get a few things off his chest, maybe. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they're so cold. They, they're doing a lot. Everybody in the Tyson Fury business is doing a lot about all our critics and all our knockers and all our this and all our that. Well, I've got to be honest with you, um, I don't see hundreds of knockers. I see a couple of people that yeah. have become professional knockers. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, mean, I, I, I mean, as I said earlier on, I think he got off light after the Engano yeah, fight. Yeah. We just said, oh, he had a bad day. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what you feel about that, Carl. Yeah, I think, I mean, there's probably a little bit of criticism going from the performances pre um, in Ghanu, where it was been universal praise, and then you get a bit of criticism. It's probably just hurt him a bit, hurt his ego or whatever. But look, he's a sensible man, and he's, he's I think he thinks rationally as well. Yeah. He understands that that just wasn't wasn't yeah. 
a vintage, far from a vintage Tyson but that, Fury. That, that does happen in boxing. You of see fighters have an off night. And Frank Warren had a great line. He said, yeah. good fighters have an off night and, and win. win. Yeah, they don't line. have a good night. They don't have a bad night and then make excuses. And I'll tell you one thing that was interesting. And you heard it there from John Fury. I we probably didn't pick it up on our mic because he was off mic. Yeah. But him saying, this is going to be a chess match. Yeah, it might yeah. be boring. Then they all yeah. made a joke on the top table about, oh, thanks for selling tickets, John. Yeah. <laughs> but... So he, I think John was talking. I think an awful lot, an awful lot of truth, and he was, and he was also doing before the fight was called off. He was saying, "I don't like what I'm seeing in the gym." This was in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm seeing in the gym. He's being hit with more punches than he's ever been hit with before. That was John Fury talking about three weeks before the fight was pulled yeah. off. That's fact. It's really interesting that that John has kind of been brought back into camp yes. to give advice and help. And I mean, did that that. That does show that maybe some things weren't clicking. But we yeah, see but, with Tyson yeah. Fury that he's he's much more willing to, to stand and trade and to plant his feet under sugar. And maybe that also means you lose a little bit of that elusivity that he yeah. had. Well, that could definitely happen. Yeah, but I think that has to. I think the style that he has to employ is, is a, an aggressive one. Yeah. We we know that Usyk's going to move. He's not going to stand and try and fight Tyson. I think that, and we'll, we'll talk to him about this as well. I think I, I always feel like he gets a bit of a. Uh, Maybe the credit isn't right in terms of people saying, yeah, Fury will win because he's, he's bigger. There's more to Tyson yeah. Fury than just being a big man. Yeah, he yeah. can really box. He can really fight. He gets up off the deck when he gets put down. I mean, so I, I think it's a bit a slightly disrespectful just to say his size wins he wins because he's big. So, yeah. so are, you, are you thinking you're gonna see, you will see more of the Fury that we saw in the second Wilder fight with Wilder, the rematch, yeah. the original one in Vegas, when, when he said what he was going to do, no one believed him, and he came out and did it exactly. I, I think you so. seen that, I Fury? think we see an aggressive style. I think you, you look at kind of Klitschko-esque style, hit, hold, push down, yeah. lie on him, really make the smaller man blow, mm -hmm. and he's going to target the body. They've talked about the body. They see it as a weakness, to f and no doubt about it, Usyk has been hurt to the body. He does complain a lot when he gets hit the kind of borderline body shots. <laughs> um, we had a long discussion about yeah, that after the one, but I, I think that I, I think that they'll be targeting the body from the start. From the first round, Tyson will be banging them in the body. But he's notoriously not an easy man to catch, to yeah. lie on, to hold. You, mm. He's got he's to get a hold of him first. Also, Carl, it's quite hard. Not It's harder. I mean... You'd never fought anybody that was five inches shorter than you, did you? And I mean that nicely. No. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's <laughs> no. not a punchline coming yeah. up. There's no joke coming up. No. You never fought anybody that was five or six yeah. inches shorter than you. They weren't you. allowed. They were <laughs> five inches shorter than me or too young. <laughs> it was just a height limit, yeah. yeah. It's like when you go on a roller coaster. <laughs> you, had be, you had to be this tall to fight Carl Frampton. He still struggles yeah. at all. No, no, there's just no need for that. That's the second, Sorry. That's the second Sorry. short. Sorry. No, no, you're, you're not that much you. bigger than me, George. <laughs> mate. Not on me. He's got platforms on behind Look, Quite seriously, I mean, landing a good body shot on... Usyk, right? When you're six nine and he's down to about six two, that's quite that's quite that's quite difficult, mm. you know, because there's not a lot of, there's not a lot to go for. There's yeah. not a lot. Of I know what you mean, but so, I, so I, I think sense. it's I think it's easier to hit. Uh, there is, I mean, we say vulnerabilities. If it's yeah. the first time, yeah. if you think it says their body is going down, it's not like yeah, that. Of course but not. It's easier to hit his body than his head. Yeah, it's easy, uh, it's somewhere, you know, somewhere from the yeah, shoulders to the waist. And I yeah, think yeah. I think from the start, from the first bell, they'll be. Tyson will be on the front foot. He'll be fighting at a high pace, and I think he's going to target the body. But we also we also saw after that round where Usyk got hurt to the body, whether it was whatever low or on the button, whatever it may be. But he got up and he won the rest of the round. And and, and from there he looked like he kicked on. Hold on, hold on one second, Josh. I have a very Back. special message from His Excellency, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Al Sheikh, and I'm going to put him to the mic. Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello Frank. Hello. hello champ. Hello, hello Spencer. Hello, hello coach. We are ready in Riyadh and we are waiting. I will come tomorrow to London. This is the biggest fight ever. All the world waiting for 25 years now. And we will see in the 18th of May in Riyadh the undisputed fighters winner. Tomorrow I will come with the belt. And I am ready, and all the kingdom is ready, and all the world will see the biggest fight ever. Today, we will start the campaign for the pay-per-view and the ticket and the song of the fight. And there is a lot of surprise. Tyson know what is in my mind and the map for us together. Yes. We want Tyson 
for five, seven, ten fight more. You he know. You talk. You, you know, you know, you are the the most uh, beautiful diamond in the boxing fighters. You know how I see you. You know how I see you. And from my position, I need to be in the position fair between you and Ozik yeah. and have a good fight. Yeah. But you know what you have what you have in my heart. Yes, I know. I see you one of the best fighters in the generation. And I am thinking we will have big relationship next in boxing field. Perfect. You know, you are now the most expensive fighter <laughs> in the century. Turkey, I will not, be listening. Stop. I will not tell the numbers, but you know how much you get yes. for each fight. Yes. And you deserve it. Thank you very much, my brother. I really appreciate and, you. And we are waiting. And we are waiting. And I miss your father a lot. <laughs> Say to him hi. Yeah. And your family. And take care until the fight. Good luck. And I'll see you soon, brother. I'll see you soon. We will surprise the world. We will surprise the world. 100%. Me and my generation, this is the first and disputed. We see it live because I was young when the last uh, undisputed. I am not like Frank. He see four or five times. <laughs> I remember, I remember see you, see you. You know, you know, I respect the English fighters and I see the English fighters is the better, best fighters in the world. Get up! Thank you so much and see you in the 18th of May and see you Frank and Spencer soon tomorrow or after tomorrow in London inshallah. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thanks, brother. Thank, you. Thank, you. Right. Right. Thank you very much Your Excellency and Eid Mubarak. Let's see Turkey I'll shake. Five to seven more fights he wants to see. Yeah I mean that's good, isn't it? Yeah, That's exciting. We, <laughs> five, seven, or ten. They went oh, as yeah, far as five, ten. seven, or ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, we, we didn't. We didn't see Tyson Fury didn't miss a beat. I mean, he just said, "Get up, let's go." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get close. Previous to today, I know yeah. it sounds like uh, the end of Lost. Yeah, Previous yeah. to today, they've had that conversation. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, he's yeah. been told face to face, probably as long ago as last October. Yeah. There will be ten more fights. Yeah, yeah. You know it. That wasn't the first time he heard five, seven, or ten. That wasn't the first time he's heard Let's it. That right. They can't imagine <laughs> about the money. I know how much you're getting paid. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. love to know as well. Hey, listen, I wonder can he land a few quid. Imagine if he imagine if he didn't slip then. Yeah, no. uh, oh, that would have been brilliant. That would have been, yeah, that yeah, been yeah, been yeah. Too I mean, good. yeah. Like you said, I don't think HMRC would have been too happy <laughs> with Tyson. But I mean, he, he has said I mean, he he is show business. Tyson Fury. Not only does he sell tickets, he he creates incredible entertainment. You know, on the biggest stage, I mean, he is worth the money. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the eyes that are going to be on this event is, is yeah. amazing. And Fury and, and the majority of people probably still see him as a number one heavyweight on, yeah, yeah. on the planet. I certainly do. And I think that the number one heavyweight on the planet deserves the most money. That's just the way the game <laughs> works, yes, isn't it, Bunty? Pleasure, delighted. We're joined by Frank. There, there we go. Yeah, we, we managed to make right, it. Frank, We're on the trade up together. Train. Frank, here you go. How are you, mate? So, Frank, so Frank, uh, before we go anywhere, this uh -oh. man would have made it whoever was promoting him because he's a great fighter. Oh, thank you, Frank. We know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> now, Frank, five to seven more fights. We just had a little discussion all ten, about all that. All ten. Sorry, all <laughs> ten. I mean, it was, it's such an incredible number, uh, you know, almost disbelief. Are you, are you ready for that? Have you got that in the locker? Listen, let's get the first one out of the way. But <laughs> look, that's how it is. I mean, that's that, that's how our. Um, the love is and the, and you know the respect that, that uh, his excellency's got for as he said british boxers and certainly for tyson and he wants to keep seeing him in the, you know keep seeing him fighting he's got a tough tough fight this is the biggest fight of the century yeah you know and i'm involved in it which is brilliant and i say that because you know it hasn't happened we've been trying to get these heavyweights together for many many years all of us and, it, and it's not worked out and it's taken the Riyadh season and this special event that's been delayed, which has been put, you know, on, on the 18th now coming on, and it's going to be a special, special night in boxing, not just in boxing, in world sport. Yeah. Because whoever is the, I hate to say this, you know, 
having given him a lot of praise, and he's a great <laughs> fighter. But you know, the blue ribbon division has always been yeah, the heavyweights. Yeah. The heavyweight, undisputed heavyweight champion world has always been one of the most famous people on the planet, and that's what's going to happen on the 18th. You, 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 that's where it's going to go. You talked about the size of the fight being the biggest of the 21st century, which I completely agree with. But I mean, the four belts on the line, the undisputed champion is going to be declared after this. You got to be going back to the thriller in Manila, the rumble in the jungle. Yeah. These are the sort of fights at this of that magnitude. And, it's and absolutely the monstrous. backdrop helps as well. Yeah. yeah. And, and and looking at that, you, you know, you, the fights you mentioned involved American boxers, yeah. and all these fights didn't take place in America. They went to yeah. In America, in American time as well, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they took yeah. place at yeah. 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 seven in the morning, and six the, in the, the morning. And the point I'm making is that you know it took that to make them happen mm-hmm. in, back in those days, and it's taken. Riyadh and, and and His Excellency and his team to you know to really force the issue on this and get it over the line. So we're seeing you know we're seeing you know modern modern day history in in boxing and it's uh, and it will be a good fight. They're both undefeated. You look at the the pedigree of Usyk, you know from his amateur everything he's won as an amateur, um, probably the best cruiserweight of his generation, no doubt about that. And he's come up and beaten beaten. Uh, not once on two occasions beating the beating AJ, who was a lot of people considered was one of the best heavyweights, if not the best heavyweight out there, and done it, and 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 done it as a massive underdog. Frank, could I ask you? I'm going to go back to that first question about the five, seven, or ten fights. It is true, though, isn't it, Frank? And you're not you're not on the stand here. It is true, though, isn't it, Mr. Warren? That when you are discussing fights out there in Saudi Arabia, you are planning four, five, and six, and seven shows in advance. That's that's the impression well, I get. Well, that, that is that's you know, there's a lot to that. There is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've never been so busy at my age, but you know, it's, uh, it is, and we, you know, we, it's it's it's. it's it, Look, they have a, they have a, a massive budget for the Riyadh season. That's what makes these events happen. Possible. We could never put these type of yeah. events on. I'm talking about an overall yeah. like that because uh, it just financially wouldn't stand up for us. But they, but because of what it's part of, it works. And these shows are just tremendous. The undercards are, you know, every fight on the undercard is a main event. Yeah. In its own right, and this the the, the thing this the size of this fight and the magnitude of this fight, obviously the undercard card is top quality, but you don't even need to have an undercard <laughs> for it, do you? Really, no well, one could be a standard. You know, it's that, and, and you get a couple of those people. I, I see some of it, like you know, it's minor criticism, but but why would anybody even go there with that? You've got what you've all been asking for, what everybody been asking for. Yeah. When is there going to be a unification of all the belts? And that's it. And the rest of it yeah. is is just, I mean, it's just like a, a major bonus what you're getting. But the main event is what we've all been talking about. Everybody in the sport, outside the sport, those people in the street say, oh, there's so many belts, I don't know who the real champion is. You know what, on the 18th, yeah. you're going to know. You're going to know who the real champion is. Frank, does it feel like you're you're making history here? Because, you, know, you, you know, I think when... This was called. We were talking to the boys before, and it was like there's, there's, there's another press conference supposed to be immediate. They, the, the world was holding their holding their breath collectively. You know, what I mean, we, we, we're seeing Tyson up here in a fantastic mood. We pray, we pray that nothing happens. Does it feel like when this eventually, when that bell goes, history will be made? It will be, you know. And all of us all are involved in this. And there's a lot of people involved in this, uh, you know, to help make this happen and, and you know make it. As, as I say, as a special event as part of the Riyadh season, we, it, re, history's been created and we're all, we're all in our small ways and big ways, we're all part of it. But the two boxers are the guys who are getting in there, they're the ones who are going to determine what, that histor- what the history is going to be. There's going to be a winner, there's going to be a loser, who's it going to be? It's, you know, it's, it's got everything you could want. Two undefeated fighters, the best two heavyweights bar none out there at the moment and we're going to find out we're going to find out who is the best who's got the bragging rights who's going to be the guy Frank is there any sense from sitting next to him where he is at what stages I mean you've been around him a lot, for a lot uh, of fights I've got an opinion on it from 15 feet away I want yours from 3 feet nobody away want, nobody training for a fight wants to get injured and they certainly don't want to get cut in sparring it's one of the worst things that you can have but very quickly the date was rescheduled you know, his eye looks really well. It it could be 
and I think it will be a blessing in disguise because okay. he's, he's going into a camp where it was at the end of his sparring, so he fit, he's well, so he's had to have a few weeks off, obviously, because yep. he was peaking. He's now, tra- he's now back in train- serious training again now, so he's working towards getting, to, getting the best out of himself. But what he hasn't had to do is go into a camp and lose weight. Yeah. He's on the money. So he's he, never put he, the weight back on in any and way, also, shape. Also, he's not like he, he's had a lot of fights in the last um, eighteen yeah, months yeah. or so. So it's not like he's burning himself out in the ring, but he's in the tra- training camp, and and you only got to look at his face. I mean, he yeah. looks like he looks like he could fight right now. Yeah, Stun- See, but, stunning because, condition. Because of everything that happened, obviously people disappointed with a cut, Frank, and obviously yeah. mad conspiracies. We know what it's you get cut stupid, in sparring. It? it just yeah. it happens. This is what happens. But is the fight even? bigger now yeah. than it was then you're absolutely right I think it is Carl I think it's a very valid point and I think it has because the anticipation of it all was all that time and then like oh you know everybody's got a downer now they've got to read the, the date in yeah but is he going to be ready on that date well the fact of the matter is he is going to be ready on that date now and now everybody everybody who I talk to if you get you know if it's a cab driver whatever it may everybody you talk to that's all they talk about all they talk about is the fight pleasure brother Carl we're switching over. We're going to switch out. Ooh. The big man for the little man now. That big lad. When I'm on the mic, they cry, go. Do it a boom. Do it a boom. We were just saying, just complimenting you. I mean, you've heard it a lot, but just how phenomenal you look. I've had a genuinely. Shave I've had a clean shave. And it always makes a man look a little bit better, doesn't it? Like you've got a bit of a tan on. And you, you've had a shave, made an effort. And I've had a shower and I've got a bit of aftershave on. So, feeling good. You, I mean, you're looking well. I was having a little look at the eye. It looks, it looks brand new. How's it feeling? Yeah, he's all right. Listen, if it comes open in the first round, fuck it. It is what it is. God forgive me for swearing, but um, yeah, it's, it's a fight game, isn't it? If it opens, a cut open. So what? We continue. You can talk. You talk about how you look facially. It's look how you Hello, look yeah. physically. It's the whole look. I mean, yeah. you look at you. No, you it's, 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 a, it's an all. It's an all round. Just the way the way it's walking yeah, from yeah, A to B. Yeah, you yeah. Just you just you you're hold demeanour. You hold demeanour and you. Yeah. I'm actually frightened of where I am at the moment. And that's a fact. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm actually terrified of where I am at the moment. Um, because I'm ready to go this weekend and I've got five more weekends yeah, to go. So, like Sugar said, the thing is not doing tons of training, mm. but it's to do less. Because I'm way, like I'm already ready. And if I peak too soon, yeah. then I'll come down with an illness, a flu, chest infection, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. and then it's all fucked. Yeah. God forgive me for the swearing again. However... I got a really. That's the main concern at the moment. is monitoring the uh, training because I'm ready. Tyson, it seems like you know. I know a lot of these insults that they they roll off your back, and, and you're a man who gives as good as he gets. But a couple of team members, you, you've mentioned these people in boxing who maybe put you that maybe criticised you after the Ngannou fight. Use that as a little bit of fuel. Was that something that you needed just to get to add a little bit of spice to this and, and that training camp? Where you not not really, you know, because Van Gogh probably had his haters, but I don't know who they were. And someone who say negative things about somebody else is not relevant, and no one will remember their name. Mm. So when history comes, when it counts, no one will remember their name anyway. Um, and people are going to talk about successful people, and no matter who they are, what success game they're in, what business they're in, then they're always going to have people who, if they're important, if they're worth talking about, mm. there's going to be good and bad comments. So the person who doesn't have any bad comments is obviously not in a position where people want to talk about it. So I think it's fantastic. I think um, productive criticism is, is an amazing thing. And, um, and as a man who can take everything, give it, take it, whatever, um, it's good. It's healthy. It's a healthy relationship. It's like a love-hate sort of relationship. A bit like my marriage, really. Um, yeah. <laughs> And, and so, so let, me, uh, let me ask you this. You mentioned, sorry, Frank, you mentioned up there. Caught him right the, off there. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you're, you're, right. you're in for it. No, right no, 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 I, I did it politely. I said, that's, that's why I'm not looking over because he's glaring at me. No, no quite seriously, um, you, you, you said there that when you had the cut, the foot day you used the word depressed. You were a bit down. A bit yeah, bad. I was down, yeah. What, what lifted you? What, 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 what raised your spirits? I think I touched on it over there on the stage. I, I feel like everything's where it should be at any given time and it probably wasn't my time God's timing wasn't wasn't right for me then and God has a way of making everything right and I got a cut so here we are mm. and, and I'm feeling good now feeling fantastic looking good I've heard it many times yeah. Um, so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to getting in there and I'm having a good fight 
Tyson, you brought your, your dad into camp this time, and, and you mentioned on stage that, uh, how important that is. What does he bring to a camp? Is there a, he is does bring like a Spartan training uh, regime. It's like butchering us in the gym, slaughter you type of mentality, old school. Um, but it's also nice to be everything on good terms with your family because everything starts at home in-house. Um, so if I'm arguing with my wife, then I'm going to have a shit day at the gym or my life's going to be rubbish. But if everything's good at home, family's all good everyone's good then you get the best out of everybody and i feel like with me dad now we're all on the same page thank god um so it's better for me everyone i just as as a as a man and as a, a professional sportsman i just want a little bit of um plain sailing do you know what yeah. i mean i just don't want all the arguments all the time he said this she said that i just want it to be straight sailing work away everybody work together if someone's got something to say say, say it. it if they don't hold it and that's it. I just want to be people to be open. Do you know what I mean? I don't um, don't ask people to powder coat stuff. Okay. Give it me as it is. If I'm useless, tell me. If I'm good, I'm good. Keep it to exactly. yourself. Exactly. We heard from His Excellency, uh, and he, he mentioned maybe even ten more fights. Ten you more fights. You, 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 you seem to have a brilliant relationship with him. He said he said you get in the readies as well. Yeah, are we gonna yeah. are we gonna see ten? What are we talking? Do you know the the facts of the matter are is if if they can line them up, yeah, yeah. quickly. I'll do them. I want to be active. I've said to you, Frank, All for way. years, haven't I? All the way. Like yeah. last year, I, I was out of the ring for 12 months. Yeah. yeah. The year before, what did I have? Two fights. Two fights. And we the year before that, no fights. The year yeah. before that, no fights. So it's inactivity. I get the best out of me when I have two, three, four fights on the spin. Bam, 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 bam. And if they can do it, fantastic. If they can't, they can't. We have to go at snail's pace. But it, it is what it is. Tusk, can I ask you a thing, a personal thing, not, not that personal? You talked about, you know, if you've had a row with someone in your family, it can ruin your day. Yeah. Are you, when you're training for this fight, so it's the biggest fight of the 21st century, one of the biggest fights I've ever been at, one of the biggest fights you've ever been at, Frank, yeah. in every which way. Yeah. Are you going home at night to your wife and all your kids in your house, or are you staying away? I mean, I'm not, I'm not prying, I'm just trying to work out. Yeah, if no, you're I'm summer, in a, I'm in if a you're training, summer, I'm in a training you're camp. You're in a training camp, that's yeah. good, all right, good. People have gone away from home for years, haven't they? Yeah, exactly. Hundreds of years. That's what it, but you, training camps, that's what the force, so yeah. Yeah, you, you are doing that, yeah, okay, good. I just, I just wanted to check that, because that would have been, well, that would have just been another. Well, that's what he's always uh, Exactly, yeah. it would have been. Imagine yeah. I was just going, getting the kids up for Saturday. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to say, yeah, yeah. School, school run, ballet run, run, yeah. And in between doing my training. Yeah, for the, for the biggest fight. Hey, yeah. But the thing is, if, any, if anyone could do it, you, you'd, you'd be the one doing it. That's why I asked. Because you, you would be the person that would end up doing it. For that. sure. Tyce, do, do you feel the gravity of this event ever? Or is it, for you, is it just another box? Because you can say easily, right, it's just another fight. But this, this, this holds a bit of weight. This is gravity. This is history making. And do you feel that in camp? No. I just see them as boxing fights. Um, obviously, it's a major event. Like we just said, it's the biggest event that Hall of Fame promoter has been involved in. Um, and he's seen it all. So this is a major, major event, you know what I mean? Um, but while I'm training in the gym, it doesn't matter if I'm training for a, a five and five guy or a 60 and 0 guy. I'm going to do my training um, and do what I've got to do. You know, it's, um, it's a boxing fight, pretty much all the same. Um, I know what's in front of me. I've got a bad man in front of me, really, because he's quick, he's a southpaw, he's a boxer, he's beat AJ, the big old sausage AJ, beat him. So he must be, must be mustard if he can beat that big sausage. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, we'll see. You know, beat Chisora, beat Dubois, yeah, yeah. beat AJ yeah. twice. Only one man standing in his way of total domination with Great Britain. Do you feel big when everybody else fails, send in the GK. <laughs> the GK. <laughs> Listen. The GK for him. Hey. They asked for the boss, so he sent me, dog. <laughs> we, know, we know you love, like, you, you, you love to trade insults. You love to jab. You, you, you said there's nobody better talking on the stage. Definitely than you. not. But I just want to say, AJ's a big fat sausage, for sure. <laughs> there yeah. we go. It's, it's, we're live. Shall right, I say right, a big useless go. sausage? You can say whatever you want, yeah. this, is, this is your stream. AJ, I know yours. it's been rattling your cage, you big useless sausage. <laughs> and when I beat this guy, and you've been beat twice off him, get up, slink. <laughs> I like that for another insult. Sure, sure, surely, <laughs> surely, surely. I know we don't want to look. Don't past call it, me but Shirley. That is, that is a, that, you, we traded insults. That's that's got that's got. To no, be it's just me that's insulting him, isn't it? It's got to be one of the ten fights that, that, that it, Turkey it, wants to see. It'll probably be two of the ten fights. Yeah. So that'll take me to four. There we go. So we got six yeah. after that. 
There we go. Shall I'll I just name the ten? Sack you might as well. I'll do Usek. Usek. Yeah. I'll do AJ. AJ. If you yeah. don't get beaten in the meantime, that's four. And then I might chuck a, a Dubois in if he's back up there, which he is at the moment, or a Joe Joyce. Joe Parker. Joe Parker. Chuck him in there. Mate, that's seven. You know. yeah, yeah. Seven. Go to America. We'll chuck in some Amer maybe Deontay Wilder if he gets back in a yeah, fourth yeah. fight with old Deontay. Um, maybe a European guy. Maybe Agid Caballero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or the tenth. Who would the tenth fight be? Big ten. Who would the tenth be? Ten, ten, pick. ten, ten, ten. ten. Come on. Moses Hitama. No, definitely not. <laughs> 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 Think I'm stupid! <laughs> no, no, no. Um, probably do like a trilogy with like Usak or something afterwards. Right, fair play. Whatever. Well, 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 I'm still going to take it later. I'm glad you got it. Frank, you know, you, you, you're, he's doing your job for you. You know what? I think that is all we got time for. Does everybody's for, so job <laughs> for him. Don't worry about that. Thank you very much, Cheers, Tyson. Guys, Frank, thank absolute you. pleasure. Tom Bunty. Always a pleasure, my man. Thank you, thank you. That was brilliant. Frank, thank you. Fancy. Look, I nearly put the mic down. I think he's, he's done it. He's ended the show for us already. <laughs> Ten fights. Yeah, you know what? We're doing it two years. You know what? I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Absolute Thanks, pleasure. Perfect, yeah. Thank you, brother. My man, enjoy. Huge fight. Mate, team. Can't wait for it. Real fight. Let's Proper fight. Proper fight.